Okie dokie, it is November 9th, 2021. Yes, we are part Asian and more family. From our mother's father's side of the family, technically speaking, hereditarily. Oh yeah, this is the, I like this scene in the Matrix. I like those two scenes that I have listed here. Oh, hold on. Compatibility. And I um here when he's doing that control control X uh, hot key or keystroke on his keyboard in this scene here. To end uh, or to try to close out or escape out of the his uh, computer console screen. That, that keystroke does what is known as a interrupt request here. Right now, get 49% off menu price pizzas for carry out from 4 to 9. Order online with Domino's car side delivery. In this episode of Bite Size, we are looking at ports, IRQs, and DMA channels. Stop and think for a minute about how your CPU talks to another piece of hardware. Back in the early days of AT machines, this could be the serial port, disc controller, keyboard controller, or even your beloved shiny new sound card. Just like a human requires the ability to process data and have memories to operate in the real world, we already take for granted that the CPU talks to its memory in order to function. The CPU knows which part of the memory chip it's talking to because each memory location has a unique memory address. 
So it follows then that other hardware also needs a communication route, a bit like your spinal cord, connecting all the parts of your body and allowing signals from your brain to operate them. But, like your body, different components require different routes to connect them. In a PC, these are known as input slash output addresses, or port addresses. And, like your body, there are fewer port addresses than the addresses connecting up your memory. When the 386 processor was introduced, it could address 4096 megabytes of RAM, but only 64K of port addresses. Port addresses, then, allow a CPU to identify its various peripherals. The keyboard controller sits at address 64. The Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about interrupts. You can understand basically interrupt as a function, like in C programming or Java programming we write different function to make our work easier. Similarly we have interrupts in 8086 assembly language. And all the interrupts are stored in interrupt vector table. Basically there are two type of interrupts, the one is software interrupt and second one is hardware interrupt. But in our programming we have to deal with software interrupt. So the simple syntax of software interrupt is int, int is a short form of interrupt, int value and this value contains the number whatever uh, number we give that is uh, number the number range from 0 to 255 you can see here so we have total of 0 to ding. the simpler uh, simple examples are int 10h int 21s the int int stands for interrupt so this one is interrupt 21s and this one is interrupt 10 What's going on here? What the hell? 
Shift the focus more on you. Ask your doctor about Ingress. It's simple. One pill, one daily. Number one prescribed for TV. Learn how you can pay as little as zero dollars at Ingressa.com. Well, you're the leader in disaster cleanup and restoration. How do you think like that?